Hello guys, my name is Francis Newton for The Mac Is Yours. As always, reminding you that the Mac is yours, and you should be able to control it any way you want. So, for today we have a tutorial, a very easy tutorial, free as always, and uh, it's on how to use iWork09 to create your own website. So if you've seen iWork09, you've seen that you can create your own website using a mobile me account, but if you want a mobile me account, you're going to have to pay. So today we're going to learn how to do that for free without having to use a mobile me account. So the first thing that you want to do is think what website you want. So let's suppose we want a Jonas Brothers website. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Safari and we're going to go to get Dropbox. Do whoa, 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 where that came from. Okay, uh, going to go to getdropbox.com and you're going to click on download Dropbox. It's available for Mac, Windows, and Linux. So just download it and uh, once you've downloaded it, I'm going to close this window and I'm going to show you the file. It's a .dmg and you're going to install it just like any other Mac application. Double click it and uh, just drag the Dropbox icon into applications. Just do that. Okay. And that's done. So go into applications and click on Dropbox. Click open. It's gonna take a little, uh, guys. It's not gonna take like 10 minutes, but okay, there we go. So, uh, it's gonna ask you if you have or if you don't have a Dropbox account. So, if you don't have, it's free. So, it's really easy. Just click on I don't have a Dropbox account if you don't have one. Enter your first name. Enter your email. password and uh, your computer name click I agree and click continue so now you're gonna have the option of choosing a 2 gigabyte uh, storage 50 or 100 gigabytes 2 gigabytes is free so uh, that's what I'm gonna use so now you're gonna get a like very short tutorial, just four photos explaining how to use it. I'm just going to click skip tour and finish, okay? So now you can enable uh, notifications using Growl, anything you want. Click finish. Alright, so we're done installing Dropbox. Uh, wait. It's going to open up Finder and it's going to create a, fo uh, a document in your your home. See, that Dropbox. And so it's always going to add a link here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get creative and we're going to go into iWeb. And uh, just let that open. Okay. Okay, so uh, here we have my website. Hasn't been edited a lot. Uh, just gonna go in. It's not like I'm a Jonas Brothers fan, you know. Uh, Want to replace that? Oh, uh, that looks beautiful. There we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna go into the settings. Just click on site with the little clouds on the left and where it says publish to make sure instead of saying mobile me it says local folder local folder and a site name just name it whatever you want contact email you know just put your email now on location I recommend and you can save it wherever you want but I recommend that you click choose and you create a folder in the documents folder called site I already created mine it doesn't have anything inside just click choose and so URL just you don't have to really put anything but uh, well, just do whatever you want so let's say I like this site and I love it I want to publish it so click publish site it's gonna ask you this click continue 
Now, it gives you the option of visiting your site now or just clicking OK. If you click visit your site now, you're just going to see it, what it's going to look like. Uh, so, that looks beautiful. So, I'm just going to click uh, whatever. We can close iWeb now because we're pretty much done making the website. And uh, now, you're going to Safari and you're going to go into co.cc. All right. And click create an account. And once you create an account and sign in, uh, you're going to do what I'm about to tell you. But right now, I'm going to sign in. It's going to ask you for the word verification every time you sign in, which sucks. But uh, you're not going to sign in a lot of times. So now, we're going to turn to the web page. Okay, so you're going to go to .co.cc. Okay, so now you're going to go to co.cc, and uh, you're going to look, you're going to sign in. Yeah. Okay, so uh, once we turn to the home page, uh, just think of any name you want. I'm going to choose Jonas Brothers. I click check availability. Okay. And it's available. So I'm just going to click continue to registration. And now you're going to click on setup right here. Orange button. And now click on the another orange button that says setup. Now, on the bottom where it says URL forwarding just click on it and you're gonna get this so right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set that aside and we're gonna go into Dropbox so click on finder then go to the Dropbox folder alright so if you go to public there's gonna be a how to use the public folder dot RTF so you wanna delete that because we're not gonna use that and you're gonna open another finder window and look for your site so it's on documents site Jonas Brothers. So now you're going to get the whole folder and you drag it into public. Alright. Right now I'm just waiting for it to finish. Okay, so once you get that green thing, that means you're okay. Just double click on Jonas Brothers. And where it says index.html, you're going to right click that, control click. Same thing. Dropbox and click copy public link. It's going to be right here. Copy public link. Now, once you copy that, close that. Where's this HTTP? Click paste. And of course, you're going to delete the HTTP paste because you wouldn't want it to repeat. Okay, there we go. And uh, so that's pretty much it. Click on setup. Oh, page title uh, Jonas Brothers. I click setup. And uh, there we go. It's been created, Jonas Brothers Fan Club. So just to show you guys, I'm going to go into Jonas Brothers Fan Club dot co dot cc. Well, let's go to the website. And here we have my beautiful website. So uh, this has been another tutorial from the Mac is yours. As always, reminding you, the Mac is yours and so uh, tune in next week to find another tutorial so long guys